Well, hello, hello, hello. As you can see right here, I'm making a braid. And this isn't your typical yarn. Unfortunately, I don't think I have much yarn at home, at least not a lot of colors. But I do have old t-shirts. And I tend to like to use these to make crafts with. Because once a t-shirt is old and worn out, and it might have a hole in it somewhere, or it might not fit anymore, I just hate to throw it away. Usually, I bring them to my classroom to use as a paint shirt to let students cover their clothes so they don't get paint on their clothes. Um, you look at my wrist, I'm wearing a bracelet that I made earlier in the same way I'm making this. Now, I bet some of you are wondering, wow, she's making that look easy. How do I braid? Well, if you have never done a braid before, I'm going to teach you the easy steps. Now, I'm making this one green because guess what? Green is my favorite color. I've taped, taped it off camera over here to something that's heavy so I can hold on to it so it can stay still while I'm braiding. And right now I'm going to put a knot at this end so I can stop because this will be a bracelet too. It looks like it should be long enough and it might actually be longer than the one I'm wearing. And then I'm going to show you how I made this t-shirt yarn and then I'm going to show you how to make a braid. So I like to do nice tight knot with all three strands and when I look at this yeah that should fit around my wrist I'm going to cut this about right about this this length here I'm gonna put the extra green back over there for a future project release the tape now on this end I have a really long piece because I know when I go to tie the ends together I might need one to be a little longer than the other so I'm going to take two of these and cut them off and then I'm going to cut these two off these two need to come off too Cut them very short, close to the knot. Now I have these two longer pieces that I can take and tie into a knot. So I tie it into a knot one time and I pull, pull, pull. And the good thing about t-shirt yarn is that it's sort of stretchy and it stays when you tie it. But I want a double knot so I'm going to do that again. I just loop it around my fingers, take the end and tuck it through the loop, and pull, pull, pull. I pull tight, use my muscles, and then I am now ready to cut the ends off. And there's my braided, green braided bracelet. I'm going to wear that one on this wrist. Perfect fit. Green's my favorite color. Okay, so let's move these things to the side. And I'm going to bring a t-shirt over that I have that is up for grabs. It's done for. Um, it's folded in half. And I'm going to cut it right near the top right from where the hmm, where the armpit of the shirt is straight across to the middle so I'm gonna take my scissors and start to cut straight across and it, I don't I don't need this to be super straight it doesn't have to be so I cut all the way over Voila. Now this is the top of the shirt. It's like a crop shirt now. I don't want that anymore. I push it to the side. And here we go. The rest of the shirt is here. 
There's a little bit of the writing still on there, but that's okay. What I want to do now is cut strips going all the way across. So I'm gonna cut this first part off. It still has the paint on it, the letters. I, I really don't want that. And I saw it right here on the end. And I really don't want that on to use that part. All right, so I'll do another one. And it's about an inch thick. And I cut, cut, cut. Great, that's about the size I want, right there. So let me do two more of those for you and demonstrate that. Once again, I'm just cutting as straight as I can without having any lines on here. And I'm just using my eyeballs as a ruler and try to make them about the same width. They're already the same length. And this is the last one I'll do, and then I'll set this shirt to the side. Now, this shirt material is wonderful because it's sort of stretchy. And I'm going to move this fabric, fold it up, and put it to the side. This fabric is stretchy, and when you take it and pull it, it rolls together and that's what makes it look sort of like yarn so I'm not so sad and I'm just taking it a little at a time pulling it and you can see what's happening to the rest that's landing on the table I'm not so sad that I don't have yarn because I know how to make it Ta -da! let me do the others I'm going to pull 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 and it just rolls up just curls around itself. That part had a little bit of the print on there, but it rolled around itself. Sometimes it won't do that. And the last one, and this is a nice pink. I see some more letters there. That's okay. It's working itself out. So now I have pink yarn. I have blue, orange, yellow, green, red, and pink now. So what I'd like to do is make a bracelet that has three colors so I can show you how to braid. So I'm going to cut this because it, it was a loop. It was the shirt, the length of the shirt, and it turns out to be a loop. So I'll show you. This end is a loop, and this end is a loop. I want to cut that so that it's free and it's more like a piece of yarn. So I'll take a piece of yellow, whoa, and a piece of orange. I'm going to use warm colors for this. So I'm going to make the pink one just a little bit longer because when I take it and wrap it around my fingers to make that knot, I want the pink one to be longer than the other two. Saves me from having to cut it later. So as I pull the knot, I'm gonna hold on to the orange and the yellow and the pink really tight and pull the knot and pull it tight so that they stay. And I'm gonna reach off camera. I have this heavy bucket of crayons over here on the side that has tape on it. And I'm going to tape that down. Now, when you're braiding with three colors, it's easy to remember the pattern. So, I'm going to separate them. And then I'm going to use, take the one on the right to the middle, then the one from the left to the middle right to the middle, left to the middle, right to the middle, left to the middle. Or, because you have three colors, you can just remember the pattern of which one goes to the middle. So, yellow, pink, orange. Yellow, 
pink, orange, and you alternate that pattern, keep going, yellow, pink, orange, yellow, and I have to untangle it at the end so it gets tangly. Pause and untangle, pink, orange, yellow, pink, orange, and I rotate those colors to the middle. Yellow to the middle, pink to the middle, orange to the middle. Yellow, pink, orange, yellow, pink, orange, yellow, pink, orange, yellow, pink, orange, yellow, pink. Okay. This is long, longer than the other one. Maybe I'll keep going, it'll just be one that wraps around twice. So I'm on orange, yellow, pink, orange, yellow, pink, orange, yellow, pink, orange, and the braid just gets longer and longer. Repeat the pattern, oh, I'm going off camera. So, remember what we do at the end I like to take this, make a knot at the end, and wrap it around my these two fingers. And this piece is real. This pink is really long. I'm going to cut this because that might be tough to do. Wrap it around your fingers, like so, and then tuck them in. Bring them through. All three of them. Make sure you have all three colors. Get your fingers in there. There's the orange, it was the shortest one. And I pull my knot and adjust it and pull and pull as tight as I can. Use my muscles and voila, there we go. Now, just like the last time, I want one of these to be longer than the others. I think I'm gonna let pink be the long one because that was the color that we just added to our collection. So I'm going to take those others off and once again, look at this end. I want the pink to be longer. So I am going to clip these shorter so it's not so much in the way. That's a beautiful braid. Then take the pink ones and tie them in a knot. And pull, pull, pull. And then tie them in another knot. And the thing I really love about t-shirt yarn, and I do call it t-shirt yarn, is it's stretchier than the regular yarn. So it allowed me to pull it really tight. So now I'll clip off these pieces. Who knew an old t-shirt could make something so cute? And this one's longer so I can wrap it around twice, put it on my wrist. It's a little tighter than the other one was. Oh yes. If I keep going like this, I'll probably have them all the way up my arm. These are fun to make for others, to share, to trade. And it's something that you can do easily in your home. If you don't have yarn like me, Make the best out of a bad situation and use what you have. All I used was a pair of scissors and an old t-shirt and I did some cutting and I did some pulling and some braiding and made some um, bracelets. I've even seen people use this to make a headband, which might be stylish and fun. Well, remember creative, creative, creative opportunities are all around us. And even though school is closed, creativity isn't canceled. And I'd like you to come back and create more cool stuff with me another day. Thank you. See you next time.